Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing our Liu Bao run in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. We are big caked up. We're kind of waiting for this event. We are going to get where all of China is going to unify against us. Last episode, uh, we managed to pick up Jiao Zhi, and we had a little bit of a failed attack on Jian Nan. I kind of o overestimated uh, our ability to capture a city without kind of getting all the adjacent areas first. The AI gets a huge bonus to their stats when they have an adjacency bonus. And we just get a very middling bonus. You can see Zhou Tai here with 1500 defense and 1100 assault uh, with two uh, adjacencies. And this guy here with three adjacencies. Well, he's in the water, so that's maybe not a good representation. But he only has a little bit. Can we find a Boyo who is on the field? That is not... I guess we don't have a strong Boyo out. But uh, e even with... Uh, you know, several adjacencies, we won't approach anywhere near the offensive defense that they have, and so this will be a bit of a difficulty for us. Uh, coming up in this episode, we have a situation with Cao Cao up here, where he is marching on one of our cities, and there's just about no way he can take Xinye here. We have too much static defenses, uh, we have too many soldiers, I think he would just lose to the static defenses with all these 3k stacks, but this presents a little bit of an opportunity, so we're gonna march out, look to meet him here, and then we are going to march reinforce up here and we are going to kind of probe and start trying to surround Zhu Cheng which is normally a pretty long experience uh, but we're going to start building up facilities here on the border between Runan and Shochan look to secure our flank here and we're going to look to start moving and piling in uh, soldiers to Xinye here in terms of our strategy so we can just show how the power of static defenses on top of this we are desperately going to need these types of things uh, in order to be able to beat the AI uh, once they unify China. And we are uh, damaging the relations between Shan Yu and uh, Sun Se. Hopefully this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, so we get on top of the fire trap where we want to be. And it triggers and confuses him. And now we will reorganize our guys on that basis. But you're going to get to see the power. This guy's going to come in. He's going to eat some fire trap. The fire trap... It normally confuses. It didn't confuse this time. Uh, and we see that ZNG is advancing onto fire, so we will just let him not do that. Have you tried it not doing that? And so these two guys will swap places, and they'll be ready uh, to go. The catapult towers are going to wreck him on top of us just wrecking him, so this will be uh, pretty nice. I think that she will just move on up here. Hmm... I think she'll advance here, and that should be good enough. Uh, but these will wreck them here. Uh, we do have him coming in, but Hua Mulan is in a bit of a position uh, to be able to cut off uh, any sort of thing, and he is building a catapult tower here. This guy will get there next turn, so we'll have a few more troops in the uh, tank. And Liu Bei is the best person in the game to function as an owl guy because he has the auspicious trait, which means he cannot be captured. So he's just going to come on. He's going to cruise in. He's going to pick up this uh, place in Song. And then I think maybe we... Is this to head us off? No, probably not. Uh, maybe we pick up Kuiao. Kuao, or however it's pronounced, uh, as a sort of thing, and just look to start to encroach in the territory here, up and to the right, because Zhu Cheng is a really, really big surround, uh, but if he's abandoning all sense of reason, really, uh, to try and attack us through here, we might be able to start making progress uh, into that ingress. All right, we're going to showcase the rest of this here, uh, just how quickly they're going to fall. Um, I think this guy's coming for here. He should die to the, just the combination of the fire trap and the catapult tower. Uh, but this guy, yeah, he's eating 200 a turn. Uh, he looks like he's not even going for the catapult tower, so he's just going to take a bunch of adjacent damage. We're taking 21 a tick, and they're taking hundreds, you know, in here. And they're already all basically dead, and we took around 350 points of damage. We do have more guys coming on in, and uh, we do have to be a little bit careful of that. I think this is highway right here. Yeah, that's the highway. So we'll move ZNG uh, onto there, and then we'll tuck this guy over here. Uh, but there's we're in really, really good shape. Uh, you know, he can't come around this way. He can try and come around this way, but that's, uh, it's gonna take a lot of maneuvers. And this is just a very strong little, uh, you know, choke point where we are gonna be getting one of our guys with a fort defense. 
the other guy is not going to have a fort defense, but it's not the end of the world, and we just have Archer back up behind. And this is going to be kind of a very common play pattern once all of China unifies against us, and we have to defend these massive, massive attacks. Uh, this is kind of going to be our go-to. So our envoy uh, from Tianzhou has come back, uh, and they get a warm welcome, or they arrive there. We now have plus 234, so it's going to take another two envoy uh Voyage is out. Uh, we get we out. We get all these guys much more experience, and the entire Huang crowd is being trained up there, uh, kind of getting ready them ready for the unification situation. Although maybe the the Miao Kriao is not the best person to uh, be raising up in terms of that. We will probably be putting them straight out again. Or actually, they just arrived in India, so we still have to wait for them to arrive back. Um, and Cow Cow is still uh, advancing. You know, we are going to look to finish these falling rocks here and then uh, come up behind them. So we're gonna relay and then repair. A little bit interesting that he sent out Cow Chun's unit. Cow Chun's very strong because he has Dash and Owl. This is a nice combo. Uh, but yeah, that was our trade arriving in India. Uh, and so we are going to be Hmm, I wonder if we could uh, set up another Falling Rocks here in a kind of a good spot where it's going to catch him when he comes on in uh, towards this. I guess there's not really a super good place to put it. Hmm. But we could sit here. And I guess here is fine enough uh, where we can put our Falling Rocks traps. He's just going to keep building up more traps. We're probably going to march some guy out from here to actually deal with this. I think we're going to march out uh, Takeda Shinjin in a snake formation. He notably also has Castle Builder, so he would be pretty good. Uh, and we'll just march him up to here. And he'll just look to... Uh, catch Cao Ren, or is that Cao Hong, Cao Hong, if he decides to keep pushing. He's about to, you know, get some bad news when he arrives at this little frontage here. Uh, but yeah. And uh, over here we are building up with uh, Zhao Yun, and we are moving towards Kuiao. I guess we do want to queue up some movement uh, here a little bit. Uh, I think we'll just look to come in here and, you know, if Liu Bei gets killed, or if his unit gets wiped out, it's no big deal, because he has Auspicious, so he can't be captured or anything like that. And so, yep. And we are also cleaning up over here. We're looking to, you know, eliminate all of these, uh, you know, buildings that have been constructed uh, sure. with our battering ram, and also looking to expand out with our, uh, you know... Guys, they notably have a ton of traps because he, uh, Liu Zhang tends to put down a ton of traps, but we have a couple guys here uh, just for that, uh, and we'll pull one of them out now. And that is uh, Zhang Geleon, who we brought here, uh, who has disarmor when he enters the effective area of traps. The trap is nullified, so he's going to be quite good. And I think we'll march out with him uh, with just 8k guys under Goose. The Goose is mainly so he can defend himself a little bit. Um, and we have so much troops that we can afford to kind of do it like this way. And he's just going to march the main road and look to kind of disarm any traps, basically, uh, as he comes on in. And then behind him, we will send, uh, you know, people who are more formidable in the 1v1 type situations. Uh, TNG, I guess we're gonna risk... We're gonna risk it to get the biscuit here. We're gonna try and see if we can grab this uh, before we return to the city. The main idea being so that we can uh, have a bit more adjacencies on that. Uh, but looking to just kind of cut off Shengdu, more so than necessarily march on it, although it will be an easy march, but we would prefer to take Jian Ning so that we can try and get them to submit to us here in Yunnan. So our envoy, our trading envoy, has returned back home from Tianzhu, aka India, and they send a representative who gives us the maneuver, uh, the maneuver, siege, and demolish of crane formation is strengthened. Now, crane formation is generally not very good, and so this is meh. Uh, we might play around with it a little bit, but I still think even with the Garuda formation, it's still not worth it. But at the next checkpoint, 
uh, we will gain uh, quite a bit uh, extra as well, and we will also be sending out the trade. And we've just decided to trade out from, you know, our capital here, which is going to be a bit slower, uh, but that's fine. And we do pick up a couple of uh, wipes on the enemy. And I think this is us expanding in size? Yeah. Grown large. It has. We have been playing quite a while now. And so, uh, let's see, we are probably, oop, they're on the way to Nanhai. So yeah, we're in good shape, uh, just kind of cleaning stuff up. We're trying to slowly uh, expand this, which involves us building some uh, stuff over here, which Lubu's army is attacking into us, so now we're kind of fighting them uh, in order to kind of gain a stronghold or a stranglehold on this position, which is maybe not worth it, but this does allow us to exhaust the resources, so maybe this means we can go for Lu Jiang next, which would make a lot of sense, considering this is one of our fronts in Jiang Zia, and we can advance the front by moving it here. If we take Zhu Cheng, we will not eliminate or close one of our fronts. We will still have a front here, 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 and here, and here, and so this is maybe a little bit better for that uh, specifically. Uh, we will try and we will do some more trade uh, with them. Well, not with him, though. I believe 77 days out is our capital here. And so we are just going to do it from the capital. It does take a little bit longer, but this way uh, we get to send the boys out that we want to send out. And that is the Huangs. We could send out Miao Yu. But so far we've been sending out uh, Miao Kuo, uh, who has gotten a little bit of stronger. She wasn't at 90 war before, but... Uh, the Huangs are getting pretty caked up here. Look at this, 99, although I do think he has an item. So things are progressing nicely there. Making a little bit of progress slow pushing, but it's late December, so it's time to see if anyone comes of age and what officers we might get, uh, this sort of thing. We also have, well, I guess we have a duel as well. We have on our side, 93 versus their 76. Almost assuredly we win, we do. Uh, capturing Yu Yi would be fantastic, uh, but he's just injured. We will be taking out that unit, and we capture him. Very nice. Big nice. We have, uh, done- we've been trying to, you know, hurt the relationships between the two of these. And, uh, also just trying to reduce the loyalty of officers here and there. Looks like this guy is going to, uh, bite off more than he could chew. Because he's going for Liu Bei, but he's going to encounter Guan Yu, which is uh, not exactly what he wanted. Now he's coming around. Uh... Okay, so something we could do is we can just not go home with Huang Zhang for an extended period of time. The idea being, of course it is 10k units that we're not going home with. The idea being... Uh, he's captured Yu Yi, right? As long as we don't go home, Yu Yi actually can't escape while he's just there. So that's the current state of affairs, and so I think we'll do that. Um, we also are going to go capture this. Uh, Zhang Geilion will lead the way because he has div uh, because he has disarmer, so he can disarm any kind of things. Uh, we are a little bit spooked, uh, you know. 20k coming out on our 17k would be a little bit of a thing, but I think we have enough time to back up if that's the case. I think we have enough space, and so uh, we'll just park Huang Zhang. Actually, well, if we're going to keep him out... So here's the thing, is we want to keep him out, but this is not... We do not want to, in an arrow formation, assault the city. So I guess we'll just move him over to the fort, and he can kind of just chill there, because he will have a decreased um, food consumption by the fort. We will move Liu Bei to here and have him repair that. And we will just move Guan Yu over here and Guan Yu ought to intercept this guy uh, when he's coming on in for this. Now, this guy might also be coming for Liu Bei. Uh, we will probably... Well, why don't we finish repairing this and then send uh, Zhao Yun back. I think he's done enough. Maybe we can march someone else out uh, that is going to have a uh, positive adjacency with Liu Bei. Uh, he's perfect. Let's see what our stats look like. We do have the special boost. So we have the same defense on Crane, uh, but uh, we do not have the same offense. So this is kind of why we didn't want to use Crane, but we do get more maneuver and more demolish in exchange for it. So probably not worth it. We will just uh, use Guan Ping here, and we're just going to park Guan Ping uh, back behind where uh, 
we know Guan Yu is going to be. We don't exactly want to get Guan Ping involved in the fight, but he will boost up uh, Guan Yu's stats, and that's kind of what we got going on. I don't think we need to do much other than search um, here, because uh, I think we're pretty well set with what we got going on. Hopefully they don't come out. Maybe we should just send more guys just in case. Uh, we were going to send Meng Yao anyways. So we can just send him with like 10k. We do want to make sure Resolute March can go on a base. And so he does have an ability that can be used on a base. I think we would rather have Iron Wall uh, here. And we'll just swing it on up to around 10k. Maybe 9k would have been better. And we'll have him come on over as well. So I guess, given the texture of how this has evolved, we'll probably be going for Shangdu, even though that wasn't our original plan. Uh, we will go for the reward and then the search, because it is the new year. Wow, well, only one person not loyal. You love to see it. And uh, what we will do is we will... Oop, not this. We will auto-search, but we will set it to all officers so that it searches the Warlord preferred areas at quite a high rate. Uh, with 26 searches, we probably acquire or find some new blood, although there's not a ton of, like, extremely good generals. And we'll get to see where Juju is coming. Ah! Broadening his horizons, Mr. Huang Jun. His intelligence has increased by two. Eh, that's pretty good. We discovered Chang Ying. He will join us. Wang Ziang, he's kind of medium ministerial officer, if you couldn't cha if you couldn't tell. And it looks like was he, he just wanted to pick up Chen. That seems fine. So I think we will. Uh, interesting. Not exactly uh, hoping to hold Chen, but I think we're gonna get these guys back to the city so that they can. Uh, be rewarded because we uh, do that is a little bit of a concern we don't want to run too ragged on all that Zhu Huan was found discovered by someone probably can't get him but we'll continue trying to slow progress over here as well as slow progress over here looking to eventually take this city a little bit of an update they were we were pushing towards Zhu Cheng we had a little scuffle out here we won the scuffle but now they're collapsing from both north and south on Jian Zhou which we're more than happy to play the defense game. We're assembling some catapult towers on the scarier front, which is from the south. Uh, to the north, they have, you know, a smattering of single filers coming on in, which shouldn't be too much of a problem, but we'll just look to erect some defenses, pull back some guys, and then cut off some supply lines. We got a nice supply line cut on these guys, and it's time to watch the evisceration of these three units here. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. We have over here kind of a little bit of difficulties, but that's okay. Oh, hopefully this guy doesn't get clipped passing by. Very nice. And we're in on them. Hopefully our archer units don't take too much damage. I thought they were all confused, so I wasn't super concerned or overly concerned with... Trying to make sure the archers stayed in back. But yeah, it looks like we're just gonna cut them down pretty pretty handily here. And then uh, just return on back to, you know, here to deal with these guys who are coming in. Uh, we have like 4k and they're gonna have to pass through the catapult tower and they're all 3k stacks. So it should be pretty, pretty short work. Uh, these guys are coming on down. Hopefully we can repair the fort. Um... Also, Zheng Leon's not going to be too useful. Uh, maybe we can push with these two guys, but I would like to have another guy. Uh, the city has two adjacencies. We can't get rid of Mianzhu Gate very easily. Uh, and we are planning on using Jamuka here to uh, kind of push towards this. He does have dash, and uh, so he's pretty good at getting in there. Um, so I think... Oh, man, I really want to send a siege weapon out. But I don't think... I mean, we could try taking the city with, what is this, like, 20k into this? Uh, once this is taken, maybe it works. Maybe we should just sit tight, because uh, we can just wait uh, by the camp. It's not like the reinforcements are coming. Yeah, I think I like just sitting tight 
dealing with this and then sending out a siege weapon here. We captured Uswegi Kenshin, and so with Zhu Huang, we will probably be not marching Zhu Huang back into the city. Oh, Instead, sure. he's going to chill by the fort. Uh, there's a diminished uh, sort of, what is it? Uh, food consumption when you're by a fort, so that's good. I think we're going to try and push this after we have Luo. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I mean, I think we're going to take a decent amount of damage. Actually, no, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. We can just march out and, you know, get just a little bit more. We can move Ban Ying, uh, have her bring a catapult. Uh, she's going to have boosted stats with catapult. How many days? 50 days for her to get here. That's fine. So she'll be here in 50 days. And then we'll go for uh, Shangdu. You know, there's not going to be... These guys will not audible and move to the left. They'll move all the way back to Zitong, and by then they can't. They don't have enough time to march to Zitong and then to Chengdu, so there's no reinforcements forthcoming. We just have to wait it out. Uh, over here, uh, we do have kind of uh, this situation going where they have a lot of adjacencies. So look, he has about 1k in each stat. We have like five adjacencies, and we're barely stronger than him. Uh, but I think we can hold this particular spot. The catapult towers in particular are going to do a ton of damage. Zhou Yu is probably going to be a little used up after this, and we might retreat him. I'm not sure we can exactly push with him, uh, but notice we have been uh, trying to snake around with Liu Bei a little bit, and we're pushing up here with Ziyang Ji. No one's going to be able to oppose him. And so we're about ready to kind of, uh, you know, go for the city, so this is why we are marching forward with Guan Yu. And we'll probably take off uh, and use some other guy for... Uh, we want to use a ram, a tower, or a catapult. Uh, Ji and Yang. Can any of these guys lead very many troops? Well, I guess it's going to be Jai Hua, because she's the only one who can lead a decent amount of troops. And we're going to max out the soldiers. Now, uh, we do have, you know, a little bit of weakness to this front, but they're going to have to come through these catapult towers. And so we're just going to move this along here uh, with the idea that we are probably going to be using Zhou Yu. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Ziyang Ji and uh, Guan Yu to try and make this work. And so we'll send her on out. And get ready to go. So the noose is tightening here around Zhu Cheng. We've had a little bit of back and forth where they've sent out a guy from Wan and we retreat with Liu Bei and then we move him back forward. And now we see an addition of more uh, forces over here. We've got 8k, 9.5k coming on in. And we got two really good. Uh, it's tempting to give it to him uh, a little bit, but we're about to take one of his cities. If we weren't about to take one of his cities, we would want to improve relations with him and see if we can maybe convince him to join our side. But since this is not uh, the case, um, we will also see... I don't exactly know what he's going for here. Uh, so it's unclear whether he's going for Liu Bei or if he's trying to defend against like the more frontal assault that's about to happen. I think we're going to just take this and then back up and see exactly what he's about here. We're just kind of tentatively uh, trying to do this. Uh, we'll bring her up and uh, have her help repair this. And then we are also bringing her in. Uh, we'll have her... Yeah, right there is fine. Um, we are just trying to uh, have a few guys covering this. Ziyang Ji is coming over. It'll be a really hard uh, duo for anyone to deal with. Ziyang Ji and Guan Yu. And uh, we are also repairing this. Uh, and this guy can use... He can cut the supply line if they chase Liu Bei. And if they don't chase Liu Bei here, if these two don't go for Liu Bei, then Liu Bei will come and cut the supply line here. So we're in pretty good shape on as far as all that's concerned. Now over here, still just waiting for our siege unit to come on over. So uh, we accidentally uh, sent out only 1k troops with the first siege unit. So we sent her back and now we have this coming on in. Should be fine. Um, we got Huang, uh, or we got Zhu Huang, who's going to make short work of these two, uh, who are just milling about for whatever reason. I uh, didn't want them to get on the siege unit. Uh, probably going to, yeah, post command, have re them retreat, this sort of thing. I wonder if these guys, I don't think they're going to head us off here, but they might. But uh, yeah, things are going pretty well here. We have a trade finishing at the end of this turn, where we should get uh, the very last of the the items that we can get from India. Um, and it looks like they're sending more support here. 
We're having trouble employing this guy. He is quite strong. He is one of the unlockables. And it looks like they're not headed for... Yeah, they're headed for Guan Yu. And so now we're up to 1,000, which is the cap. And so when they come back, they will have some uh, special goodies for us. And it looks like Liu Bei is about to get crunched. So we're just going to move him... I mean, I think that, yeah, we just die in one tick anyways. Uh, we're just going to move him over here. Uh, we're going to move this guy. Uh, now that we kind of know where everyone's headed, we're going to move him here and then here. And look to cut off. Uh, but, yeah, 9k is quite a big number. But these guys are just going to kind of run into it, I think, a little bit. Uh, we don't want this girl to block uh, this gentleman's way. But it looks like they're heading for Guan Yu, this sort of thing. We might need to send more troops out. Uh, we could send out Guan Ping and uh, Zhao Yun, I think. Maybe with around 10k. Uh, eh, we can... Why can't he take 10k? What the hell? Well, we'll set it by hand. We'll put it in at 12k. And we'll look to... Uh, kind of have him over here. Guan Ping in back. Guan Ping looking to just give his ministrant aura to everyone. Uh, we'll march him right here, something like this. And we'll march her and try and tuck her a little bit. Uh, I think we might need to... let's see, can we make a trap? Not quite. We could if it was over here. I think we just want to be ready to uh, kind of catch them. And we're not finishing this catapult tower, but that should be fine. We're trading pretty evenly out front here, but it looks like Cow Cow is pretty determined to throw everything at it. So we got these guys coming in, these guys coming in behind, these guys coming in. And so we're kind of in a bit of a weird spot where we want to try and push immediately, maybe. But I think that, um, I don't know exactly what we can do here. Uh, I think we wanted to keep uh, him on there. I guess Zhao Yun is coming. And we have about we have a, we have less reinforcements coming than they do, so this implies we want to push immediately. And so maybe we try and do something like this, where we get her forward. We have him move down, and we try and swing her around and try and get in. We should make short work of this once we're in there. Uh, our guy did get cut off there. We have more owls coming in. We have an owl coming out of here, an owl coming out of here. And so we're just trying to loop around uh, for the very last little bits of trying to grab this city. Uh, they don't have much coming out of the city, but of course they have this stream of reinforcements that's uh, quite a bit larger than what we have coming in through. And, uh, yikes, that's kind of uncomfortable. We do want to get, uh, off of the, uh... Alright. So it looks like we can get in now. And I think we just have her kind of seal up the rear. Have him come in and attack. We'll try and get him in on here. Ziang G, I think we're gonna have uh, come in and do here. And then she should be able to come in for free here and attack just the city. Now, they do have some adjacencies. This is kind of not ideal. I just, is three too much? We have a ton more, but ours aren't as valuable as theirs. But we have, like, these extra guys coming in, too, and just wave after wave of these guys, too. It's not, uh, that easy. We're gonna try and, uh, build a catapult tower here, I guess. Uh, Liu Bei can kind of, uh, do whatever he wants. Uh, but Mei Kai is quite a ways behind, um, this guy. 
I mean, once he gets deconfused, this is going to be really nice for us, but and no one's coming after him. Uh, yep, uh, so I guess that one's kind of iffy. Here we have like a pretty certain kind of situation where we're just going to march in here. Uh, we're going to relay attack. We're going to come in here. We're going to relay and we're going to attack. This guy is going to come around. Uh, eh, he'll come here. Relay and then advance here. Because uh, he can shoot into there from there. And then he'll come in and uh, relay and fire attack. Uh, he should be able to get that in, and that should be a city for us. We're also notably picking up this, which is going to give us a surround and conquer. After this, uh, I think we are just going to cruise on back, but we do want to make sure we don't run over any traps, so we're just going to go through the woods here. And that should be fine enough. Uh, this guy's headed back to the city, good yard. And I think that, we like, searching is kind of trivial right now, but we do want to make sure um, we can employ, try and employ this guy. We haven't been getting very much luck uh, on that front, but uh, let's, take a, let's take a turn off here. Does have to load a little bit. And so we'll see how... The main thing is we have to protect the siege unit, and I think the siege unit's low enough uh, under here that uh, we should be in okay shape. Guan Yu, Jesus. We've been so unlucky with duels anywhere near each other, and this is 104 strength versus 97. So, I feel like we just lose this on principle, right? Because we've just, we have not won a single duel that's within like 10. Oh my god, are we gonna win one? Jesus, we won one. I just gotta reverse jinx it and complain every time. Oh Jesus, he just dies to Heavenly Warrior instantly. Yeah, this guy's a problem. And so Guan Yu is covering a little bit on her. Is she going to use tower? Oh my god. Is this going... Did it all go wrong? This is our Surround and Conquer. They have like a new video for it. I don't know when they put this in. But we haven't shown it yet. We Skadoosh. And that's what we were trying to do around Zhu Chang, but having a little bit of difficulty with it. So, I mean, it's 5k into 5k. I think this guy's not gonna... I think he's just gonna ignore Liu Bei, so I think we can do, get that advance off. Unfortunately, this guy... took the way we didn't want. So we're gonna try and do something like that. We're gonna move... Yeah, Meikai's gonna do her thing. And hopefully, we deny these enough to try and try and get in there. We could, of course, uh, see how the progress on taking the city went. Why? You went the wrong way, my guy. What the hell? Why'd you go that way? That's so bad. Grim, 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 grim. That's not ideal. Uh, hopefully that doesn't break us. This guy will head on back, though. We'll do a little, little fire attack here. On our way back. We can also, uh, yeah. And then, just kind of gonna skim over, take a look at what's going on here. They are attacking us. We have sent a guy on up, but that should be fine. Yeah, I think in retrospect, we should have taken this a little bit slower and not look to go in on the city and look to actually just fight all the reinforcements pouring in on top of, you know, our catapult towers that we had set up. Uh, but we're gonna make our... We're gonna sleep in the bed we made here. And hopefully... You know, she she can hopefully trigger... She's going to be doing a lot of damage here a turn. And this should do a lot of damage here, because there's a lot of people nearby. Yeah, that's like 4k on them. Ugh. And we get our elephant tomes, which is going to be big nice. And they're back in the city. Well, we're, we can't see... We, yeah, we won't be able to take down the city like this, actually. 
Grim. We don't want to go that way. Uh, this is grim. That's unfortunate that uh, this one hasn't worked. Uh, hopefully we can just get this in. We do have to make sure we dodge him. He's retreating. But it looks like we can get the full surround, but it's a little too little too late. Um... We're just gonna send people back. A little annoying. Uh, we can march someone big out of there uh, to kind of try and do something, or to at least be able to hold a lot of this uh, territory we've gained. For me. Actually, you know, she's pretty defensive. We can look to take it slow again and uh, just, you know, try and secure in our stuff. So we did want to eventually build. I think in one of these spots, this is the road. Uh, I think we eventually want to have a fort here. So why don't we just build that? And if they're gonna come for us, uh, they're gonna get confused because of uh, what's going on up here. And we just reset a little bit, but not complete. Actually, there's 24k in here. Do we really want to try and push this right now? I uh, probably not. Okay, so we can put a trap here. We don't want a fire trap. Because it'll trigger our other fire trap. Mm. Actually, maybe we just build a catapult here. I don't know. Uh, we ha I mean, we have a lot of guys still. And they kind of used up a lot of their guys. And maybe we can try and secure uh, this upper front line around Yanling. Something like this. Uh, and how's this one doing? Well, this one looks like we'll be taking the city uh, kind of momentarily here. So we'll get in on that. Alright, now let's get that bread. Surely we get it this time. We did put in other orders in other places. Uh, kind of in Zhu Cheng, looking to consolidate a little bit. Or, like, looking to play it slow again. Yeah, and we get the spread. Did we get the spread? Oh, now we trigger catapult when there's only one tick left to go anyways. Brilliant. How we drew it up. So now we can trade with Gyu Sheng. Uh, I forget who they're supposed to represent. But... Uh, we capture some officers. We're gonna employ them and detain them. Shocker, we don't get any of them. Oh, it'd be really awkward if they retook the city like this. So I think we're gonna march her into the city. And let him kind of handle them. Oop. Don't want to do a fire attack. Want to do that. But I think we will uh, pick this up in the next episode. Um, this episode, we kind of tried to take Zhu Chang, weren't very successful. Now we got, like, another setup going. Uh, I'm not sure if they're marching towards us or away from us here. Entirely not sure. But they are going to be in for a whole bunch of catapult towers if they are marching towards us, which are going to do a lot of damage. And so maybe this is this is probably the slow and steady, this like laying down of catapult towers and creeping them forward, was maybe the way we should have done it before because we have to get close enough that we can like swing around uh, both ways in order to get a full surround. Otherwise, they have too much of an area advantage. And Zhu Chang just has the most adjacencies out of any city. Uh, this is also where the emperor is going to be. Uh, but, uh, but we did manage, and we also got this going on, but we should be able to cut the supply line here. Uh, we should be fine with that. Uh, and this one, they should just get wrecked. Uh, but, yep, yeah, this episode, we managed to take on Chengdu. After we, you know, dice these two guys up, uh, we should maybe, maybe, maybe be able to convince Liu Zhang to join us? Probably not. He's still got 100k troops. We're gonna probably have to take another city. The next city we really want to take, though, is gonna be down here. Uh, unfortunately, the AI sucks balls. Uh, 
this AI would easily have been able to like push this city, except what they do is they keep going onto the swamp, poison swamps, which cause damage to them, and they keep on like building camps in the middle of the road, and then they have to go around the road, and then they're like, I mean, maybe they will get the city at some point, which would be brilliant, but um, do we have a... No, we have a new trade we can do. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and other than that, have a good day.